want you to get to the, um, the setup of the intervals. You'll need to draw the picture, pictures, I should say, the graphs, shade in the area that you're, we're interested in looking for, and we're for sure going to have to do some symmetry here. So it's just each one of the petals inside the circle, right? Outside. But it's inside cosine to theta, which is the petals, right? Yeah. Okay, that's right. And then it's outside. Yeah, what outside does this graph the circle. Like? Outside the circle, inside the petal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Drop in. All the outer Kind of pretty. <laughs> for one set is going to go from negative pi over 6 to positive pi over 6. Actually, I could do this. If I went just this top half here, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Functions on top, the rows of the circle. Rows. I've never seen a row that looked like that. This is eight, right? Times one. Okay, the setup. I could go from negative pi over six to positive pi over six and have four times one half. That's one two. 
I could do this. I could integrate from negative pi over 6 to positive pi over 6 with the one half in front, plus find that angle, find that angle, plus find that angle, find that, right? I could do it four times if I wanted to. I don't want to. <laughs> You multiply it by four. That's based on opposite. Try it. Yeah. Well, because eight times one half is four, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Eight times one half is four. Zero to two pi, you're going to get some tensile out in here, on the rows, and then the circle, you're going to get all the circle. So I can match up. I think you get zero if you integrate from zero to two pi with the rows. Because you get all the pieces canceling out. Any questions I can answer? Yeah. In my opinion, the most important part is the setup. If you can get to the setup, yeah, I think you're doing okay. Any questions? Alright, let's take a break.